Underwater woody debris is a healthy component of lake environments. Sunken logs, trees, branches, and root balls provide excellent habitat for wildlife, including fish, turtles, birds, and invertebrates. Beaver activity, wind, erosion, or water inflows from rivers and creeks naturally deposit woody debris into a lake. Brush piles can provide fish with a food source, as well as shaded areas to rest, spawn, and escape predators. However, human activity and development has significantly reduced the amount of natural woody debris in lakes. Thanks to funding from Fisheries and Oceans Canada's Recreational Fisheries Conservation Partnership Program in 2018, a team of dedicated staff and volunteers added woody debris back into Masnaw Lake. Masnaw Lake supports a cold water fishery with species like lake trout, walleye, and smallmouth bass. There are over 300 properties along the waterfront of the lake, including many boat-in access-only properties. With support from the Masnaw Property Owners Association and the Lanark County Stewardship Council, Watersheds Canada conducted site visits to determine and map out potential enhancement sites for the in-water brush bundle structures. Existing fish habitat sites suitable for the addition of woody debris were carefully selected so they would not interfere with boaters and would avoid confirmed locations of lake trout spawning beds. Watersheds Canada and the Mazinaw Property Owners Association recruited volunteers who helped collect, cut, and assemble the brush bundles at various sites around the lake. Volunteers deployed 24 brush bundles around the lake on August 30th and 31st in 2018. Each brush bundle was 8 to 10 feet long and 2 to 3 feet wide, and each was tied and anchored to three cinder blocks. In 2020, two years after the initial project, a small group of individuals checked up on some of the brush bundle sites. Using GPS coordinates and donated underwater camera equipment, the bundles were located and the success of the new habitat was recorded. All bundles visited were inhabited by several species of fish. This follow-up visit was possible thanks to Melissa Dakers, Lake Stewardship Coordinator at Watersheds Canada, Fern Haggerty of the Mazinaw Property Owners Association and the Ainley Group, and Scott Reynolds, biologist for the Ainley Group. Thanks to everyone's hard work, these brush bundle sites on Mazinaw Lake will enhance fish habitat for years to come.